In this video, we will demonstrate how to select a TuneD profile for file server workloads. A good way to approach the performance tuning of a file server is to first assess the impact of its workload on the different subsystems on the server. A file server's workload is mainly comprised of read and write disk operations as it fulfills file service requests and then send and receive network transactions as it transfers data across the network to and from client systems. Therefore, the tuning of file server performance should be focused on the disk and network subsystems. RHEL 7's TuneD profile provides a variety of predefined profiles with different performance tuning objectives. Of these profiles, there are four which are good starting points for tuning servers for file server workloads throughput performance, latency performance, network throughput, and network latency. We can determine how the characteristics of these profiles differ by looking at their tuning configuration files under slash user slash lib slash tunedd. The throughput performance profile sets the CPU governor and energy performance bias to performance and disk read ahead value is increased beyond the default value to 4096. Additionally, several sysctl settings are also configured to allow for improved disk and network I.O. throughput performance. The latency performance profile also sets the CPU governor and energy performance bias to performance. This statically sets the CPU at the highest clock frequency and prevents a latency which would otherwise occur when CPU frequency is switched as workload fluctuates. The network throughput profile inherits settings from the predefined throughput performance profile that we just looked at earlier. In addition, it increases kernel network buffers to boost network performance. Likewise, the network latency profile inherits settings from the predefined latency performance profile that we looked at earlier. In addition, it disables transparent huge pages and NUMA balancing, as well as tunes several network-related sysctl parameters. Not all file server workloads are equal. The workload characteristics can vary greatly between an office file server serving out small document files and a file server which provides virtual machine images to hypervisors. Therefore, administrators will need to determine which of the four predefined profiles that we just looked at is best suited for the workload on the system they are tuning. If none of the predefined TuneD profiles suit your need, you can consider creating your own custom TuneD profile. For example, let's say we like the predefined network latency TuneD profile for our file server, but want to additionally tune the disk read ahead setting. We can accomplish this by creating a custom profile called file server. This is done by creating a directory called file server under slash etsy slash tuned and then creating a tuned.conf configuration file in that directory. We would begin by first inheriting all the settings from the network latency predefined profile with an include parameter. Now 
Next, we would additionally specify a read ahead setting for disk devices like so. Now let's observe the effect of implementing our custom TuneD profile. Our system is currently running the balanced TuneD profile. Looking at its configuration, we can see that the balanced profile makes no changes to the default disk read-ahead setting. We can see what the default value is by displaying the contents of the corresponding file under the slash sys file system. Let's look at the contents of this file for our primary disk device. This confirms that the default disk read-ahead value is 128 kilobytes. Now let's implement our newly created custom profile. If we execute our previous command, we can see that the disk read ahead setting has now been increased to 4096 kilobytes.